Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. Today, we have a surprise for you. We recently looked into the wing of an airplane, and we saw this, and we go, oh, looks like a nice repair. So we started going back in the logs, looking for any notation for that left-hand wing panel, and we found it back in June of 1984. So stay tuned while we go into more of the discovery of this 39-year-old surprise. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So as part of the annual inspection of this aircraft, we're looking in the outboard left-hand wing panel, and we see this really nice repair. I mean, it's very well done, and uh, covering only just part of the skin on that outboard wing section. So it looks like it was done legally. It's actually done a little bit over what the uh, maintenance manual calls for, and it's a nice looking repair, and you know, just first glance as I trained under Ken Blackman at his shop up in Snohomish this looks a lot like some of his work back in the day so you know it looks like a perfectly valid repair but to prove that it's a valid repair we're going to go back and start looking in the logbooks until we find it we're also going to look at the FAA records now we go to the logbook we start reading it and complied with an AD Ooh, cable tension checked replaced outboard outboard wing panel and then replaced fuel tank leak and some other stuff but that's all we got was replaced left hand wing panel now there's a problem with that now the problem is not the fact that you can't replace a wing panel um, you know back in the day they might even required a 337 for you to do that if there was a major repair but we're not seeing a repair on that wing panel we're just seeing a straight exchange now that is a time limited part on our airplane we don't know how much time was on that wing panel when it was installed all we really do know is that the date June 1st of 1984 and the tack time on the airplane was 1,483 hours point four two so we have a wing panel on an airplane that we can't do the time it makes it an unworthy part and that's the basis of the 39 year surprise this airplane's been annual 39 times over the years and no one has ever caught this Okay, so there's nothing in the logbooks about that wing panel other than it was installed. So the next thing we do is we get the FAA records and we go back and we start looking at all the airworthiness. And guess what? For that time period, two years before and two years after, there is no mention of a 337 for any kind of a repair on a wing panel section on this airplane. Um, maybe it was on another airplane who knows but because it has no known time on it therefore it's rejected as an airworthy part and we had to pick up the phone and call Fletch Air and begin the process of buying a wing panel section for the outboard left hand side now while we're waiting for the wing panel to arrive it's going to be coming truck freight we know it's going to be about three weeks so we can take our time as we remove the old wing panel from the aircraft and we have to get all the tubing out all the electrical wiring out the Kaufman strip has to come off the uh, outboard spar bolts have to come out and be checked so that's all coming off and then when the new one gets here we'll be ready to begin the process of installing it on the aircraft after we check the priming on the inside reinstall everything in the uh, uh, wing panel and then also paint it to match the airplane now that's not necessarily order we're going to do them in but that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing while we're waiting on the wing panel no I'm not going to bore you with this but you know we called Fletch Air up and we ordered this part and we gave him the address of the hangar at the airport figuring that would be the easiest thing to do but somehow it got lost in translation giving it to the lady at Fletch Air in charge of U-Ship and she mailed it to our house where we normally get small parts so anyway here's the uh, yellow truck finally bringing it to the house and he gets it all the way on the ground and we have to go out there and tell him that um, no, it's actually going to go to the airport so we pay the re-delivery fee to have it redirected to the airport he puts it back in the truck and he drives out to the airport that day so it did get delivered uh, on the on the right day but we had to go through this little gymnastic real quick just to get it to the right location um, to make it a little bit easier to handle because that crate is about four foot by five foot by about 10 inches and um, on the billing it says 130 pounds not something easy to move about 
kind of help you with the scale of how big that box is. Uh, there it is right there on the uh, lift gate. And again, we were able to talk to driver and pay the re, uh, a re distribution fee and it went to the airport that day but that kind of gives you an idea about how big that box is and then finally he took it did take it to the airport that day and uh, shop monkey was able to help him and they were able to get it into the hangar and um, that gets it out of the weather so we know it's in a nice safe location and let's see I'm trying to remember yes this was when Mark Matthews was here so um, there's the crate coming into the hangar uh, this is from the corner security camera but anyway, we got it in the hangar, and then of course we're going to go through the next step, which is means we're going to open it up and we're going to inspect this uh, several thousand dollar part we had to order. And by the way, from those of you who I know will ask, this um, wing panel has 2,820 hours on it currently. We know the airplane it came from, the serial number, and everything else. So the time will continue forward on this wing panel. And um, by the way, Fletcher will charge you $250 to build a crate, and uh, then you're going to pay the freight. By the way, our total freight bill was like $487. Uh, that was with the redirect and everything else. So once we got it here, we inspected it. It appeared to be a fine um, wing panel, and then we go through the process of priming it and then getting the paint on it, and then we'll be installing it back on the aircraft. So you know we couldn't get one in the right color it is an older paint on the airplane we could have probably have matched the white but you know they didn't have a white one but he's going to have one right now in matterhorn 555 uh, polyurethane i believe but anyway that's what it looks like coming out of the paint shop and the next thing you're going to see is it on the airplane well it's a happy day when it goes back on the airplane and you can see the clecos in the kaufman strip the uh, rear spar spice plate is already in place. Uh, the paint's looking pretty good. Get nice and hard from the two days we let it cure. And then Shop Monkey's going to be installing all the internals, getting the uh, vent line and the electrical all back into that wing panel and all hooked up. And we'll get the wing tip on. And that will be a done deal. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is why you want to have your FAA records checked um, periodically as well as you want to check the airplane for any anomalies again this had sat in an airplane for 39 years until it was caught by us this year so we hope you found all this useful and informative thank you so much for watching and have a great day flying your grumman and finally here's hopscotch with a sweet pea observing he's playing with a little pink feathered twig now the twig is made out of some material like honeysuckle it just drives them crazy and they love playing with it she's resting up as soon as he finishes she will have her go so enjoy them having fun